Police broke up an illegal gambling ring. They say a group of people were taking bets on seemingly anything and everything. Ross Gadotti reports this isn't the first time police have gotten involved with this group. Ross. Yeah, it is absolutely correct, and specifically the person who is allegedly heading this all up. It involved three counties, about a four-year investigation, millions of dollars in alleged illegal profits, and 13 suspects. 13 is the number of suspects the Attorney General's office charged for running numbers in what law enforcement is calling an extensive illegal gambling operation. The key players, according to investigators, 88-year-old Robert Ionelli and his son Rodney Ionelli. They allegedly ran an operation which at times garnered profits on a weekly basis of forty to $50,000 and more. The AG's office began their investigation of the father-son duo in 2015. According to the 21-page indictment, the Ionellis, along with 11 other defendants, used the Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio State lottery numbers for their own alleged illegal lottery. The Attorney General's office claims illegal sports books were also a large part of the Ionelli enterprise. The suspects allegedly using cell phones and fax machines to collect customers' picks. This isn't the first time the senior Ionelli has been in trouble with the law and gambling. Back in the 1970s, he spent time in jail after he said no to testifying in front of a federal grand jury targeting organized crime. In the 1990s, he went back to jail again after being convicted of conspiracy, illegal bookmaking, as well as other charges. Preliminary hearings for all the suspects right now set for February 26th. Reporting live, Ross Goddotti, KDKA News.